Hello guys, Kelly here again from Kelly's Aquarium. So, I finally got some of these. Now I'm going to unbox this so you can see what it comes like, the fresh water ones. There's one over there, look. I've already had that one plugged in and been playing with it on the uh, reef link, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so what? I'll go through the full lot of stuff I've got. So I've got a couple of these, which we're going to look at first. So, eco tech manuals and stuff, they're useful. <coughs> now nah, they're actually not bad. <laughs> manuals in it. So, big power adapter, well, average size power adapter, standard IEC cable, kettle lead to most people, and then oh, a USB if you want to connect your light USB to a reef link or a computer or whatever, it means you can set it up without having to, you know, do the buttons, if you know what I mean. So these you can do everything on, you know, you can click this and hold it and it changes light spectrum, then you've got, you know, your up and downs. For your brightness and everything so it's a active cool silent though it's got I mean, it's got a big heat sink in here but it's got a fan on as well so i'll add one hand in it i'm gonna turn it over it there. sorry so you get cleaning cloth to clean your led a few screws and stuff because you can just straight mount these you know there's some scrolls on the other side which we'll look at in a minute because i am mounting everything and then you've got this. So, there's plenty of LEDs there. And I've just turned the box over, just so I can tell you which LEDs there are. So you get eight cool light, uh, eight cool white LEDs. Well, you can just read that. <laughs> One white, red, green, and blue. So you only get a couple of blues, a couple of greens, four reds, and you get seven warm white and seven cool white because this is the fresh water so there's all the different leds in the array now look the say you get really good because of the optics because of the lenses you get a decent spread over two foot by two foot now that is a five foot tank that light's coming down in a minute i've just grabbed all the uh the electrics out for it as you can see there's tear ups all of it so something's going well a moving bed, a bit of action. So yeah, I'm going to take that down in a minute and then mount this one. Well, the rail, the rail, I'm going to mount a bit higher because man's my, everything in man's low light plants, so I can get away with having a bit higher and a bit less par or per if you want to get into the usable radiation. Um, so because I'm only using Jab Fen and Nubius, these are overkill in a way that you can't even believe. <laughs> but I like the control and I like everything run from a single app. A single program it's pretty cool and you know what else am I gonna do so I'm gonna mount that I'll show you the railing system and everything in a minute but yeah nice piece of kit feels real nice good well built but yeah I've got a couple of them I'm hoping two will do it because I say that as I was saying that was a five foot tank they say these are good for two foot spread but I've only got two sort of islands I can't see because of the light behind me, just bear with me, I wonder if I can make that go away a bit. Doing it all there. So yeah, oh well, maybe see, if you've seen my tank, I've an island there and an island there. So as long as I've got a reasonable spread on both of them, I probably can get away with two. If not, I'll buy another one. We're all good. So, so mounting these, they do various, you know, stands and stuff, but it comes with these, which are little eyelets. I'm hoping you can see. And they just screw, I'm assuming they just screw into these, they do. So if you just wanted to hang it, you can put four eyes on and just hang it from that. But I'm going to hang it on the actual RMS system, which you may see there. So, these, as you can see on the box, which I'll show you in a sec, that I actually got them in, they're on the thing. <laughs> I'm worried I'm ahead of myself. So, just give me one sec. So, these things... Slide onto a rail, which again I'm going to show you the rail in a sec, and then just they sit on there quite nicely. And you just screw them in. You get a separate set of screws with these, you know, what go flush. And then the full light, become that becomes a full unit that you just slide down the rail. It's really cool. I'm, I'm, the rail's massive, but it also is cable management as well, so pretty cool. Right, so back in the saddle. So this is the, the rail. And as you can hopefully see, there's grooves which your cables go down and you can just have all your cables coming out at one end, you know, like I have one. This is part of the RMS hanging kit. And these 
yeah, so I've screwed the screw in. So you've got these, which obviously then you hook to, and I'll show you the fittings for that because they're actually pretty cold. They infuriated me for a bit, but they're alright. And these, these, um, the mountain rails don't interfere. So at first I thought, oh, you're gonna have to put them on in an order, you know, for these to, but they don't actually interfere with each other. So this is what you sort of get in there. If you want to ceiling mount it, you get these, which I'm gonna have to pause my camera to unscrew. <laughs> My life just went to hell as I opened a bag that had these cables and they just un unraveled. <laughs> so, if you were just mounting straight to a ceiling, you put this in that way, and then that will hold the light, so that can't come out. And then you just screw that, which has got an hole in it, to the ceiling, and then obviously that screws into that, so you've just got a perfect hanging thing from your ceiling like that, with your, with your light. And then they go into... Come on, let's have a bit of focus. They go into these things. So, I had to explain why this was so hard one-handed. <laughs> I should have set up a different camera. So that screws in under there. So that goes in that little slot you can hopefully see. So that hangs there and then this goes through. And you can pull that through as much as you want to, uh, I say you can, maybe not one-handed. Yeah. So you can keep pulling it through to get it the right height and it don't go back. You cannot get that back. The only way you have to just push that in and then you can bring it back out. So we end up with something like this. So it's got two of the, the uh, attachments for lights on. And it's got these ready to go, which can be tightened up whenever they're in position. And as I say, these just sit on. I'll put one on and let you see. So back in the saddle. So yeah, so they just sit on like that. And as I showed, you can just push the cable through and it comes out of here. And you just keep pulling it until it's the right height and then you can clip it off and I say you can get it back out if you press the thing but unless you press it you really can't because I didn't realize that was a thing and I was pulling on it and you uh, know it nearly cut my hands to bits before that came out so yeah the rail and then I'm gonna get them up now and uh, then I'm gonna do some tests get some get me uh, light meter out and do some par tests Cause I only because I'm low light low light plants I only want like well 15 minimum on the base of the tank I mean, I've had this running since Christmas now, and it's, what, May, end of May? I ain't had a single spot of algae on anything, because I'm running such low light, I believe. So, it's still early doors, I mean, it's only five months or so in it, so it's not really, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll be back with a different video, I assume, or the end of this video, with that on. So, hello again, guys, Kelly here. So, just having a look at my tank, so I've got my new lights on. Yeah, I was just going to have a little look at these guys because they're all in this corner. I don't know what's happening. Like a convention of uh, cherries. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the marks on that male on the right, on the, on the other side. Yeah, I think they're here because obviously, I don't know if you can see there's a bit of stuff floating about in the water as well. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Because it's in reef crest mode, the pump, that pump there. A wave maker and by hell does it rav the uh, gets all the muck out off the bottom though it, it, it just so pull it just does a real weird um floor plat pattern for its reef crest and uh yeah it does real well at getting the muck so i have it run for a couple of hours every day but i just thought i'd have a look at these because they're uh, the males are looking pretty nice so the females, I mean, they look nice as well, but they're males, look how red they are. And I hopefully you can see a bit of shimmer off my new lights. It has definitely got a bit better shimmer. It's, it's currently at uh, 6.5 thousand Kelvin. Because I've got the option of what I said it at. The others are all, <laughs> all, all my uh, Odessas are over here. Just look at the line of Corys first, or a bit of Cory line, then we'll actually go and look at the lights, because you know, so I'd give you a look at the tank with them on. Yeah, look at that, it's because I'm, I've just been stomping about over this side, so they're all, <laughs> over the other side, so they're all here. And that big fat mess, he's there. <laughs> but yeah, a couple of Pristilla Tetras mixed in, you see, because I've come up here now, look. They're all over there. They're just a bit, bit, bit wary of me. But yeah, the uh, I'm quite happy with the light. Now I've got this 
on 15% power. Because <laughs> these lights, oh god, they're incredible. For the actual, if, if you've got like, but this is a low tech tank, there's no CO2 injection into this. So that much power is just insanity. There's a little uh, bronze quarry in a cave down there. <laughs> These guys, I really like the look of them. All. See, I think the the floor pattern in the the tank is making them all just like school here, because <laughs> normally they're all over the shop. But yeah, you can see hopefully them plants like getting swirled about over here, getting blown one way and the other. It's really it's a, just a real good pattern. It sort of just makes a, like a well, like the a cre like waves cresting a reef. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, so. But it really does pull all the muck out for those who have Vortex and very good pumps. Right, I'm going to go on the other side. Bit of an intermission on me big koi. Right, it's at the top having a feed. So are all the others, all the little fellas. But yeah. Oh, I'm just scared them away. That's how we're getting. <laughs> Ready to okay, so got my lights up. So they're on off the same thing they used to be, but uh, say there's just two lights sort of spread out. So I think that's a five foot tank, and they're meant to do, you know, two foot spreads, two foot down. But I'd say uh, they're, they're running at 15%. I think with both of them running, it's like 23 watts or something like that. Uh, as you can see, there's, you get the... You know, sunny sparkle thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh it's they, they seem pretty good. So there's still plenty of stuff uh, kicking about. It's still in its uh thingy stage where it's uh, reef cresting. Look the front there. Knocking about. But yeah, I say once it uh, stops doing that and goes back to the normal, everything's at the other side because I'm at this side. They'll come because they'll think they're getting fed. If I, I'll scare them all away and then do that. I guarantee they start coming back. <laughs> Just in case. But yeah, quite happy with them. I mean, that's just gonna look horrific. But yeah, they're just a little block. There's the uh, controls if you're doing a manual. But yeah, the actual light, the rigging is pretty good. I quite like it. Cable tad is nice. If you can see on top, the cables go through. And just down there. But this needs pushing into the slot to move some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, and then they just go into plug so up to now the timers on these work really well it's using the same software I use for everything else so all of it's just from one piece of software now my pumps my lights it's all good and uh, be another video maybe tomorrow or the next day if I can I'll be putting there uh, two new Z leopard frog plex into it a bit of a shrimp on a leaf. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the other side now.